This is 1C, the area in square feet of the horizontal cross-section. So again, the slice at some height h feet is modeled by this function f. So now instead of giving us just a few values for the area of each cross-section, they're giving us a formula where we can plug in any h and calculate the cross-section at that height. So they say use this model to find the volume of the tank. Well, we always find the volume of the tank uh, by finding the area of a cross-section and then multiplying by the thickness of the cross-section. That's how we always find the volume of anything in this class. Uh, so all we have to do is take that formula for the cross-section, plug in lots of different values of h, so we're calculating the volume of many different heights, and then add them all up. So all I need is this integral. That's one point. Uh, type it in my calculator correctly, round correctly to three decimal points, and I'll get the second point. Uh, don't forget your units. That's part of that second point right here. So two points total. This picture I meant to kind of show what's going on here. Uh, before we were approximating the volume by taking very thick slices, that's why it was a rough Riemann approximation. So the thickness of like the first slice was two feet. Now we're saying because we can find the area of any slice at any height, we make a very thin slice, which I can't really draw, but doing my best to draw a very thin slice. We calculate the area of the slice using the formula F. The thickness of the slice is dH, and that's why we're integrating the area of a slice multiplied by the thickness to get the volume of, well, we do that over and over again for each slice. We add them all up, we get the total volume of the object. Uh, that's two total points.